and we're gonna figure out which one of these phones records better video. Let's find out. I'm sure it's gonna be mine. Oh, whatever. Hi guys. Hi. My name is Darlin. Like my, my darling. My name is not Darlin, <laughs> but my darling. It's Casey. Is it now? Like my Casey. <laughs> All right, guys. So today we have a fun tutorial for you guys. We are um, Darlene and Casey, and we are indeed married. Married. Um, we have been married for a couple of months. A right? couple of months. A couple of months together for two. Yes. It's been a fun ride. But today we're not talking about marriage. We're actually going to be talking about... Two years, not two months, by the way. That's what I said. We've been together for two. We didn't specify. Okay. We, we could have been married for three months, but met online and I don't know what he's talking about so let's move on cut director's cut <laughs> all right um so hi guys we have um an unboxing for you today um it's for the GoPro Fusion if you guys have not heard about this product it was before on retail for $900 and it is now on retail for something like $300 um, and so we decided to start a YouTube channel and we needed um, a good machinery, a good equipment, good equipment for it. Um, something beyond our iPhones. We went to Best Buy um, and quickly fell in love with um, the GoPro Fusion. So we're going to be unboxing it for you guys today. And on my side of the screen, I have the uh, Galaxy Note 9 that I'm recording on. <laughs> She has the iPhone XR. They both DK have uh, 12 megapixels, so we'll see which one records better. I think mine takes better photos right now, still photos. Okay, fine, yes, that's true. So this is gonna be an unboxing video as well as a comparison of two phones and which one has better video capabilities. Yeah, I think this one has better than all of them combined. I hope so, because we it's paid got two cameras in it, 300 so bucks sure. for right. it. So, all right, here we go, so let's unbox it. Right. Down, down, down. I don't touch the knife. I know. I know, that was scary for him. What's scarier, a Marine with a knife or <laughs> a Dominican with a knife? Oh, that, that's a tough one. That's a draw. Yeah, that is a draw. <laughs> is there anything you want to say before we physically open this thing? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we watched tons of videos. We're pretty excited about it. It looks like it includes... um. A couple of things that come with it. It's on the side here, if you guys can see. So, what it says is, it has um, like a little pouch to store it in. It has a little holder that was also expandable. It has a wire so you can transfer information back and forth between the apparatus and your computer. Um, and then here, if you look, turn around. On this side, it kind of has some of the features. So it has um, 18 MP, whatever that means. Megapixels. Thanks, that's why I brought him on. Um, then it has over capture, which basically means that it's able to, like if you zoom it in on an area, it's able to capture outside of that area so that you have like a broader view. So basically this thing records in 360 degrees. So it has the two different cameras. What's really cool about that is it's recording in both directions, up, down, sideways, all at the same time. So you don't have to move the camera at all, basically. Um, what's really cool about that is with the overcapture, basically it captures all that footage at the same time. And then you go through with your phone and it's almost like you're playing a racing game or some kind of game with a, using the gyro. and. Um, you select the footage that you want that it's captured and it puts it on the screen as if you have a whole camera crew following you around. And yeah. You get to do fun things. Fun and things. we're big outdoors people, which is why this um, camera was really appealing to us. Like, we love camping. We like to go on adventures. I'm a dancer, so I'm really curious to see what kind of effects the camera is going to have on dance. Um, and overall, we just want to kind of capture our experiences in a way that's really visually appealing and interesting. We bought this at Best Buy and it's the first place that we ran into it. Mm -hmm. What was really cool about that was that they had like a little video kiosk area mm -hmm. and we were going through the videos and seeing all the features and Darling actually said, 
This has got to be like a thousand dollar camera. That's exactly what I thought, guys. I thought it was going to be like a thousand dollars. So I was like, you know, like maybe in a couple of months we can buy something like that. But we looked up the price and like it was also right there. And it was like 300 bucks. We were like, what? This? Oh, yeah, they get the price wrong. Right. Like, what? And then we found out it had been on retail for 900 bucks. So I was like, see, I knew this was an expensive camera. But one of the videos that they showed was actually the first one that we clicked was the stabilization. So they showed the difference between, I guess, the features of an older GoPro mm -hmm. or a different video camera and this one. And basically it has gimbals and all kinds of gadgets, widgets, who does it, you know, Dr. Seuss words in it that um, keeps it stable. So they actually showed footage of a helicopter without it. Mm -hmm. And then the helicopter with this new fusion and like difference is incredible. Yes, it was. So let's get to it, right? Five minutes late, huh? <laughs> all right. So as you can see, here's the front. Use a little knife. I'm gonna tilt my camera down so you can actually see. Hope it doesn't fall. Look at that. Amazing. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. All right, great. So right off the bat, the first thing that you see um, in the, in the packaging is the camera, and then it comes with like a little instruction manual. Um, I'm sure some warnings about. Blah, blah, ways blah. not to use it yeah Man. just general information how to use basics An instruction booklet which i'm sure we probably will not pay any attention to no hey hey i might we, read it we might we're not we're not gonna read it <laughs> probably we, not hey youtube um all right so then here's the camera Right off the bat, you can see that it has a camera lens in the front and a camera lens in the back. I don't know why I did a weird accent. Um, and then it has like a little place to put the attachable stick. I'm sure that's not the technical term for that. Yes, attachable stick, detachable stick. Aha! Uh -huh. Who knows? Who knows? Then, um, as you can see on the sides here, this is um, kind of like where it actually is supposed to turn on. That is out of the box, I'm sure the battery is probably uh, not ditch. inside of it, right? <laughs> I, I guess not. Please hold. Oh, look at there. There's a battery. Uh -huh. We have found the culprit. So hold on really quick before we um, keep going. We'll come back to this. Um, it's in the box itself. Sir? Oh, hold on. Because they really have to see this. Ta-da! Nothing. <laughs> So in the box itself, you see the little pouchy, and this is to kind of protect it since there's double lens. And then you see this, and you take that off. Maybe we can have some kind of lighting effect when we open this up, and it's like... <laughs> Alright, awesome. So then, when you look in the box, you'll see a couple more accessories. So the first one, most important one of them all... The battery. Chuk -chuk. The battery. Da, 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 battery. Here, dear sir, you take care of that. How'd you know my mother was a dear? <laughs> Look. I just know that in order for this to turn on, it must have a battery. It must. Please help. There's like a little pull tab. I don't think I'm supposed to pull that. I think that helps you get the uh, battery out whenever you're trying to remove uh, it from the GoPro itself. I hope that's what it means. Yes, because I'm... Here, can you show our viewers how you're putting the camera? I, once I figure it out, yes. Yes, yes, yes. this is going to be a fun 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> fun 10 minutes, I agree. The most fun. It looks like... See, we really need to consult the um, manual. Instruction menu? Told you we would read it. Yeah. I think... Okay. This is just the mount. There we go. So there's a little tab right here. This might be f more for the SD cards. Yep. Actually, I think it's for the USB transfer. There's like a little deal right there. Uh, there's another one right here. It looks bigger, so I'm sure this is for the battery. Yes. Ta da! It is indeed for the battery. And 
And then it looks like, ta-da, we have power. Power! Fusion. It's probably yelling at us. It says English. Ooh, so Espanol. we have to set it up. Francois. All right, he's going to set Butch. it up and write things like English and such. But here, I'm going to show you really quick with this other thing that comes with it. The gyps has been turned on. Voice control? Why not? Oh, my God. All right. So this is what the little um, thing on the inside, the little pole looks like. As you can see, I do not know how to open this thing. This is way too advanced. Help. No SD cards. I knew it was going to do that. So, Ooh, oh, okay. I figured it out. Good job. Thanks. So here's how it looks. You can open it up. So if you're unboxing it and you already have this product, what you want to do is go at the bottom and then just pull one out. Ta -da! And now it's functional. One cool thing um, is once you have that set up, there's a couple of other accessories that you can add, like this little platform here. And basically that's going to allow you to input the phone in. So I'm sure it kind of goes here, but I'm still learning. So I'll figure that out in a minute. But then you can also pull it up to the top to make it a little bit taller, as you can see. I found the SD card port, and this one actually takes two SD cards. So I'm actually going to install those right now, hopefully correctly. One. Come on, SD card two. Put you in there. And voila, battery is low. Oh. Not surprising. Fun, fun, fun. Right. I wonder if you can actually shoot something with it. What is really awesome is if you don't want to take the time to be stubborn like we were, or pay attention to our video there's actually instructions that show you where all this stuff is and how it works mm -hmm. okay some cool stickers here oh nice you can put it on our stuff yes um so i'm gonna let him figure this out guys i'm not good with this kind of stuff i'm kind of good a little bit yeah which one would you like um i would like to try this one this one Okay, so it looks like you go just like so. Maybe we do need the instructions after all. Look, check it out. I think it, it looks like it goes on yes, the... Yes, where's our little rail that I took off earlier? So we don't... Those two don't go together. Uh -huh. Ah. So, uh -huh. so, and that goes on the bottom of this like so it slides on oh it slides on guys yes there's like a little rail this locks into locks it into place here can you show it more over here yes so down here there's a rail with these little tabs that move in and please hold in and out right here see so that's that then we have this little guy. The battery is empty, it's yelling at us. Uh-oh. Uh, it's shut down, it's okay. We'll get it charged here soon. Yes. And we will show you guys footage a little bit later on about what the shots look like on this camera. But for today, it's just an unboxing video. So we just wanted to go ahead and tell you um, what it does. And then we will include a couple of um, other shots that we've seen from GoPro and other brands that Use this equipment so that you can see what it shoots like. Outstanding. So, as I'm sure Darling has told you, this is a tripod. It's also somewhat of a selfie stick. Or a pole. What do they call it? Extension pole. Extension pole. Something of a sort. Yes. I feel like a Jetta. Yes, and then the cool thing is, even if you have it tall like this, you can still open up the bottoms, the bottoms, the bottom, so that you can like create like a nice little stand. Yeah. 
Yes. It's going to come out of the shot, but you get it. The other cool thing is we watched another YouTuber and they explained that basically it cuts, it kind of like crops everything up for up to what, eight centimeters, mm -hmm. six centimeters, something yes. like that. I'm not exactly sure how many inches that is, but yeah, six centimeters. Um, so that was really cool. It basically renders it out is what he said. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Um, so then the other things that we did not mention yet that are included with this um, is this USB cable, which is going to allow you to transfer in information right to your computer. And I believe it's also going to charge your device. And then on top of that, there are two of these stands that you can utilize for other purposes. Um, and then very, very important is the SD cards are not included. So we went um, to Walmart and purchased two mini SD cards. The ones that we got um, are actually, how many gigabytes? 32 gigabytes? They're 32 gigabytes. Um, the write speed was up to like 95 megabytes per second. Yes. So we're going to be testing those out and seeing how... Um, how well they perform well they and perform. how much battery life they have. Yes. The other cool thing is that this brings this little pouch. And um, what we understand for the reason why this little pouch is included is because since this camera has two lenses one in the front and one in the back. You wanna make sure that you're always protecting those and then nothing happens to them. So um, it has this little pouch that you can put around it so that you can keep your camera protected at all times. Um, one other kind of like a random thing that it's also included is this two stickers. Um, and I think Casey already mentioned them. But it's pretty, oh, oh, oh no. How did that happen? Well, I think it kind of came out of the thing a little bit because Ooh. Yeah, we have the case on here. Uh huh. All is good, seemingly. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, awesome. So then these are the stickers that I was talking about. Yes. Awesome. And that is it, you guys. There's nothing else that's included in the package. So make sure you get um. Your SD cards, your mini SD cards. Yes. Um, try to get them at a good speed. Um, this is uh, the box. There are some protection plans that come with it. We personally decided not to since we're not going to be doing anything reckless with the camera. And it was kind of expensive. It was like 40 to $50 for one year protection. Um, I think it was like $60 for two years. And they had like a three-year plan for like $80. Yeah, which like $100 on top of the 300 May not be too bad, but for us, it just didn't make sense. It didn't make sense at all. We're not, you know, professional BMXers or skateboarders or surfers. And we're not going to be putting it in any real rugged terrain. So Yeah. They do sell, like, a couple of attachments, too, so that if you want to... Um, this is waterproof, but if you want to, like, protect it to be further waterproof, then they do sell some attachments. I think that's probably what we're going to be doing Because yeah. this for one's it. Uh, waterproof, it says on here, up to 16 feet. Or water resistant, rather, not waterproof. Um, but yes, yeah, so you, you can buy those additional attachments as well as the other GoPro attachments, such as the helmet mount, the uh, car mount, I think, for your dash. Um, obviously, you could buy the pole or a different pole. Um, uh, there's a whole slew of products, basically. Yes. There's quite a few of them. Um, so, anyways, um, I think that's going to conclude our video for today. Check out the shots of how this performs um, right after this. Um, but we hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a good product, I think. So we'll keep reviewing it for you guys and see how it goes for us. Super excited. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.